Good afternoon everyone. Today I am going to be talking about the conspiracy theory of the 10th planet that has been kept under the rug for a long time and in recent years it has come out to likely be true that they call it the ninth planet but basically it's the 10th planet because I consider Pluto the 10th planet and it's called planet X which means it's an undetected planet and it's 10 X and also it's called Nibiru and Nibiru comes from Babylonian astronomy I have learned about Babylonian astronomy recently and it translates into our language as the point of transition or crossing and you know on rivers that would cross on ferry boats and things and also it orbits our planet but it has a very eccentric orbit because it may have been kicked out of our solar system at some point in the beginning when God was creating the earth and the heavens and what not in our realm or it was part of another solar system and it got sucked into ours on the outskirts because what I'm referring to are these things I'm calling them things but these objects rather that exist outside right outside of our solar system and they're objects beyond Neptune and there are many different people that were trying to discover them because they could only theorize it because technically they saw the objects out there and there are many different objects like tiny dwarf planets comets and things like that but also there is a theory that there was planet 10 and some people think they hid planet 10 and told the people that discovered it it wasn't there because they didn't want a civil unrest because if it orbits earth and people see two suns you know it would cause a panic but at some point they couldn't hide it anymore so around 2016 and a little bit before that I remember in 2015 they came out and said there's something there and I'm going to discuss briefly some more of the history of its discovery and I talked about the French man that discovered it and then later on I'm going to talk about some more people in America that had something to do with it during the discovery of Neptune in 1846 there was speculation that there was other planets beyond Neptune and basically I want to clarify that I think Pluto is the ninth planet and Nibiru is the tenth planet Lowell was an astronomer and he is the one that strongly theorized that there was another planet at the time they thought it was a ninth planet it just depends if you consider Pluto a planet or not because a lot of people think it's a dwarf planet and he was a businessman an author and a mathematician also and before he could be absolutely certain in his observatory that there was something there he passed away under the stress of his wife and him splitting up and that's why you have to take care of your health and not stress out too much and I guess that caused him to have a bad day and he also theorized about Pluto and he set the foundation 
of finding Pluto, because 14 years after his death, they found Pluto, and he also was the one that theorized about Nibiru also. His findings were started in 1906 to find Nibiru. And there are other theories in the 1800s about this planet. And that's basically the backstory about it. And how for many years they thought people were crazy for thinking it was real. And etc. And there is this discovery of... I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but... Sienda... S E D N A which is a dwarf planet that's in the outer reaches of the solar system. As an example an example of things outside of our solar system. And I remember watching the documentary because in in the California Institute of Technology in twenty sixteen Brown and Batian hypothesized that Planet 9, as they call it, which I believe is Planet 10, and they hypothesized that it has an eccentric orbit, and it would take about 10,000 to 20,000 years for this big planet to make one full orbit around our sun and it would be like a second sun in the sky like Star Wars how Luke saw the two suns it's something like that this was a brief summary of Nibiru Planet X Planet 9 or whatever you would like to call it I'd like to see your comments below thank you for watching